and pleasure to introduce tonight's student MCs, Molly Tollison and Jamaica Norgard. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out tonight to celebrate the class of 2011. Yeah! Yeah. All right. Let's All right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Our first coordinator um, is truly the definition of a wise owl. Please welcome to the stage, Barbara. Tonight I will be introducing seven students. If you can count, you can see there's only six because there's one sitting in the audience, I think. What, the mic isn't on? Is it on? Hi. All right. Among these young people, there it is, I hear it, are some people who've had to learn with severe health issues like autoimmune diseases, chronic fatigue syndrome, Bipolar disorder. And these are the people I'm going to be introducing to you. I think I've learned as much from them as they have from me, and I want to just consider what's going on here at NOVA. Leroy. It's Leroy. Okay. Leroy Miller is in his soul a writer a deep creative thinker, a political activist who has spent hundreds of hours working at soup kitchens, a person who takes Joe Swaya's history classes for fun. <laughs> a young man who wrote and read at his senior project presentation a short story about a world where men menstruate. I like those words together. <laughs> Which I couldn't stop thinking about and talking about for about a week. Leroy is a writer's writer who is planning his life around what path will give him the most chance to write. Leroy Miller. Thank you. I, I don't have much to say. I just want to thank everyone who's helped me. Um, my family, my friends, um, my mother, my father, Kay, Lisa, my uncle Matt, my mother. I already said that, but you know. Um, there is... Uh, one rumor I'd like to dispel, there's a, a rumor, I have, to, I have to renounce that I'm not running for presidency, presidency. I have to renounce my run for presidency, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm still going to fly high, you know, wherever crows fly or flow cries, I'll be there. I, so, thank you so much, Nova, I love you! <laughs> Alan Weber. Okay, the big secret, Alan's wearing her swimsuit underneath her dress because she was at Wild Waves all day. Okay. <laughs> Alan Weber started out this year ready to quit school because she was terrified she had to give a senior project. In the course of the year, she has made such giant strides in confidence that she has started working at PAWS, has taken both Christina's AP math class and nationally administered AP stats test, and absolutely aced her senior project, even though there was a technical difficulty with the uh, electronic equipment. Next year, Ellen is off to community college, Ellen Weber. but she doesn't want to speak. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is Jamaica Norgard.
Last year, about April, Jamaica decided she didn't care if she graduated from high school or not. She had been offered a job working at Nordstrom's and was more interested in a paycheck than a diploma. But this year, she decided to come back. <laughs> Jamaica is good at a lot of things that I am not good at. Computer networking stuff, texting, nexting, plexting, Twitter, flitter, schnitter, critter, uh, wink and blink and nod. And is also fired up by poetry and photography. Her poems are as courageous as any that I've ever heard. Her senior project presentation about her poetry was a marvelous decoction of memory and connection. It burned with honesty, and she read part of it off of her cell phone screen. Okay. <laughs> right now, her goal is to en enroll at the University of Hawaii to study photography, Jamaica Norgard. <laughs> Um, I didn't really have a speech prepared, but I really would like to thank my family and my mom and everybody. Everybody here, oh my gosh, everybody up here makes me want to go to school so much. And I cannot thank Barbara enough. She is just like, oh, my knight in shining armor. So <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Okay, so now I don't know for sure if Taylor is here tonight. Somebody raise, yes, no? Okay, I'm gonna speak about a student who couldn't come. She's been sick for two weeks and I spoke with her today and she was gonna try to come because she wanted to see her friends graduate. Taylor Basinger, who has been sick and sitting in, and maybe sitting in the audience, is the quintessential still water that runs deep. She speaks so softly that sometimes you have to strain to hear her, but what bounty comes from her mouth. For me, the poetry and literature teacher, Taylor has been a giant gift, a student who wanted to read books several times. She got stars in her eyes talking about how this writer or that writer used language. And to keep me honest, she wrote her college entrance essay about how my classes didn't live up to her expectations. <laughs> All right. Mills liked the essay so much they gave her a big substantial scholarship which she promptly responded to by hitchhiking down to California to see whether or not she wanted to go. All right, so let's applaud Taylor. Molly Soa is an intellectual giant. I've never told you this, Molly, but the first time I read one of your papers, I was so blown away that I was like, I don't think a high school student wrote this. Okay? It was so accomplished and so sophisticated, I wondered if it was original. The depth and breadth of what you had read and were able to synthesize from your reading and life observations was amazing. Then two years ago, you were struck by CFS, which was an ex extraordinarily hard on you because all the things you had been exceptional at were no longer available to you. Thank you. In the last year, I've been honored to watch a brilliant mind climbing out of despair, inch by inch, step by step, assignment by assignment. And now you're graduating from high school, something you look for, took for granted only two years ago. Your success that we are here tonight to witness is more significant achievement than the honor student that you were two years ago because you just walked it step by step by step and I have so much respect for you. Molly Sowa. I guess I just want to say thanks to Barbara and to my parents who are in the audience just for all your support. And yeah, bye. Okay. I was afraid that was going to happen. Okay. Oh, wait. I got another page. Oh, I can't find it. All right. Max Waters. <laughs> Max is so talented as a guitar player that people want to fly him in and pay him a lot of money to play when they sing. I'm not making this up. For over a year, he's been playing professionally, rehearsing most days and every night, recording sometimes all night, 
but still plugging away at those pesky graduation requirements that didn't care if he could play the guitar or not. Okay. What I value in Max is that he appreciates people, his mother's cooking, his dad's business advice, his friends' his musical talent, the guitar teachers and greats he has learned from. I first got hip to how accomplished Max's playing is in the live guitar tracks he laid down with Mario and Raven, something we're going to hear a little later. But the story I want to tell is about Max in middle school. Before guitardom, he competed in BMX trick competitions and was practicing to perform at an all-school assembly when he fell from midair, smashed his face, came up bloody, and told everyone he was all right. <laughs> uh, I know you're off to fame and fortune in your life, Max, and that you will always get up from falls and be okay. Max Waters. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is Mario Casalino. Okay, Mario is the third Casalini son I have had the privilege of introducing on this graduation night. I don't know what food their mom cooks up to grow sons like this, but they are all charmers. Mario loves women, and women love Mario. <laughs> right. Now, I can't speak for everyone, but what has charmed me most is his dedication to social justice and willingness to speak out in defense of his friends. He owns up when he messes up and crows when he is proud. Right now, he's working at a job that only marginally interests him to earn money to start a recording company. In the fall, he will be studying music production at Shoreline Community College. Woo! Mario Casolini. I wanted to thank Ma and Pa, <laughs> Sissy and Foof, Joe and Nick, Sarah Rose, Jason, Max Waters, my guy Raven, Lauren Burr, and Kyle Arts, and of course, Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Barbara! <laughs> 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 the microphone's stuff for you.